Okay, sixth grade, lesson 53. And this is on decimals chart and then also simplifying fractions, okay? So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of review what you're going to do when you multiply decimals, add decimals, subtract decimals, and divide decimals. Okay, and they've created a chart in here, um, but let's just kind of look at them, okay? So let's put a plus and minus. You might want to write this on your paper. Plus, minus. Okay, if we are adding or subtracting decimal numbers, what's the most important thing that we think about? Uh, the plus and minus. Yes, but, but other than that, because it's a decimal number. Uh, line up the decimal? Because we line up the decimal. So, I'm going to show you this is what the chart looks like. Let's just pretend like that's a number. The answer is going to have a decimal here, like that. That's just what they're trying to show you, is that the decimals move down and they're lined up. Okay, so that's the first part of our chart. I'm going to go in and draw a line right here. Okay, the next one is this, is the multiplication one. Okay, so let's draw a chart with a um, multiplication one. Here's what would happen is, let's just say we were doing a number. Okay times plus or minus that okay times now these just happened to line up when I multiplied this fake number whole number decimal decimal whole number decimal decimal but how do we know what to do when we get our answer we count how many places right so we're gonna put count places after decimal and then move to the left in the answer. Now you can write that down if you want to, but if you know it, that's fine. So here we would have one, two, three, four spots. So we start at the end of the number and go one, two, three, four, and the decimal will go here. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so count places after the decimal, one, two, three, four, and move to the left in the answer. One, two, three, four. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the second part of the chart. The third part of the chart is if we are dividing, they're using that dividing symbol, dividing by a whole, which is an H, whole number. Okay, so this is what this looks like. Um, whatever the number is, a whole number means the decimals after it. Did you know that? A whole number is like five. A decimal number is 0.5. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if this was a whole number, whatever is in here, and this is a whole number, the decimal just slides up. Right? Do you know that rule? Mm -hmm. Remember that rule? If you're dividing by a whole number, we don't have to move the decimal. Right? We just slide the decimal up. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line right here, and we'll do our fourth chart. If I had a longer board, I would write it right here, but I don't, so it's okay. So if I was dividing by a decimal number, okay, dividing by a decimal number, what I would do is, let's say my decimal was here with a number, and here's my division problem, and I had a decimal here, okay, what would I do here? You would move them over. I would move this one over one time to make it a whole number. So what would I do with this decimal? Same thing. Move it over one time and slide up your decimal and work the problem. Okay? So it's just like a quick review of all the things we've learned concerning decimals. Adding and subtracting decimals, multiplying decimals, dividing by a whole number with a decimal in the dividend, dividing by a decimal in the divisor, and then what we do with the decimal in the dividend. Okay, so now let's um, move to simplifying fractions. Okay, so this is just the second kind of part, the mini part of uh, lesson 53. They tell me to simplify 4 6 plus 5 6. Okay, now there's two ways to do this problem. I can reduce my fractions first then get my answer, or I can answer it, then reduce it. Which do you prefer? Uh, 
reduce the answer. Reduce the answer. So let's do this. Four plus five is nine. Nine and six just slides over because it's the denominator. Now let's reduce this. What number goes into both six and nine? Six. Nope. Six won't go into nine. Here one. Nope. Oh, yeah. smaller. Oh, uh, we can do two. We can do three. We can't do two because two will go into an even number, but not an odd number. Uh, but three will three go into nine and nine. six. So let's divide this by three. What's nine divided by three? Uh, three. Yeah. What's six divided by three? Two. Two. Okay. Now that's as far as we can reduce it because at this point, nothing will go into both three and two. But it's still improper. But it's improper. So what do I do to get it proper? Uh, we divide it. Yes. This says three divided by two. So three divided by two is one and a half. Okay, so that's if we answer first, then reduce, but let's reduce first and then answer. Okay, so can this be reduced? Will a number go into both four and six? Uh, yes. Yes, what number? Two. Two will. Two will go into four? Two times. Two will go into six? Three times. Okay, we reduced it. Okay, will five, six, no, nothing will go into that. I don't think so. Okay, so we cannot, um, we, if we reduce first, then this gets two-thirds, but what's the problem? The denominator's not the same. So it won't work. Okay? Do you see that? Uh-huh. Okay. So, that is lesson 53.